and hello Shock fans and Transformers fans. Welcome to my first Rips Robot Mode reviews. Um, uh, now I won't be doing alt mode, so please in the comments below, don't be like, you didn't transform it, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not what I'm here for. There are tons of great reviewers that I love to watch that, you know, show transformation. But this is just going to be quick for, for, um, uh, just the robot mode. So here we go. This is um, Transformers Robots in the Sky Scourge. It's the G2 Laser Optimus Prime mode. And trust me, it, I had to hunt this thing down and I couldn't even get the trailer with it, sadly. But I did get the sword and it also has the gun, but I don't know where it is. And um, the thing is, it's awesome. Now, it, the reason I got it is one, because I love. Nemesis Prime, Scourge, any form of like Evil Optimus Prime, and you might have known that already by my video I did for my knockoff uh, Shattered Glass Optimus, which I will probably review eventually. Um, it's a G2 figure, and I know G2 was like back in the 90s, so it, there still had some possibility limitations, but this thing was awesome. Just let me take the sword out of hand. Come on. There. Okay. It has... His head can swivel left and right. The arms can do this. Uh, pretty much what you... You know what I'm saying? Like what you want with it. They can't completely do it. I don't think, no, they can't do a 360. They can go up and down. Each one. Um, then the actual arms can go in and out here. They swivel. Bend at the elbow. There's, you can see the swivel right there. So the arms pretty much have what articulation you need. Uh, there's actually even this. There's a waist swivel. And let's see. The hips on nice ratchets. They go in and out. Forward and back. Um, the knees bend. Uh, 90 degree knee pretty much. Um, uh, the feet can pivot, but that's due to transformation. I don't really think you could stand him like on his feet with uh, with them tilted any. Um, the only thing really this figure needed would have been a either a swivel at the knee or the thigh. Either I mean, but I mean it's it's big. It's a big figure. It's about the size of a Voyager now. I do have a comparison, but it's not a Voyager. It's I mold. I'm pretty sure you have at least one of. And that's the Seeker mode. This is the Generations Thundercracker. Um, and you can see he towers over him. Let's see. I want to make sure I have him in there. Yeah, he's like way bigger than him. And um, Scourge is just awesome. I got this guy on eBay for a really nice price. I hope that I can pick up the trailer eventually. But this is one I definitely had to have. And it's one that is my one of my favorites. I think I actually do have a slideshow. I'm pretty sure I've uploaded it of Scourge, of his transformation. It's a simple transformation, and I don't even mind doing that, but it's for the sake of the robot mode reviews only. I um, uh, hope you um, uh, can find this figure, because if you can, it's definitely worth picking up. It was supposed to have, or the G2 Prime did, the, there was a button here on the back. It's still here, but they gutted the wiring, and it would light the sword up and the gun with that I think it was a red or this it would have been a red for him a red LED but um uh it's definitely a figure that's worth picking up and I hope you guys I hope this review was helpful and thanks for watching this is your beloved soldier of the inverted cross signing off farewell